Can we stop the contractors? There's been this government announcement of a review. Um, we'll get into the wording with uh, Jeremy in a second. Uh, personally, I don't think that will stop HS2 contractors. Uh, there's such big money and power behind this. And when we came to the woods uh, two days ago, uh, the entire corridor of the track, the corridor of the track was being fenced off. And um, and our understanding is the contractors are going to carry on in in here. They're going to start to do this. Uh, removing the soil so they can transplant an ancient woodland, which we know is nonsense. <laughs> I think we're all on the same page. Yeah, so we're not we're not here to try and convince anybody here. We know that everybody here is pretty much on the same page. And if you're not, ask anybody. There's so many people here who have so much knowledge about what uh, the impact is of HS2. So we want to form a human chain. Get that. On the media coverage we also need to get your details because i think now the only way that we'll save that wood is if we set up a camp in that wood and there's a lot of people in the back do you think yeah. Yeah. this is south cubbington wood and about a fortnight ago around 200 people turned up to form a human chain because hs2 had fenced a massive section of this irreplaceable ancient woodland off because they intended to do irreversible damage despite the fact there is supposedly a yes no review of the project ongoing because they said well you know we said we wouldn't hit ancient woodland it unless it was absolutely necessary and you know not doing it would have too much cost and delay the project so we're gonna go ahead with it anyway and we got a list of uh, woodlands that were going to be hit and it seemed that it, South Cubbington Wood was the first one. We believed at the time that they were actually going to start work on October the 1st. So a week after the uh, human chain, the camp was set up before HS2 planned to start work. And uh, it's been here ever since and it's uh, quite good. Uh, I've, I'm absolutely, I'm really impressed at all the locals here who have done so much work to set this up and keep it going. And, and it's just really, just massively impressed by the way that the community here has come together to create this. And not just create it, but volunteer to be here overnight, to come in the day. There is so much food here, it's ridiculous. Everyone just keeps bringing food for the people who are camping. And... Yeah, there's just too much of it. Uh, so I need to spend less time here because I really don't need to keep eating all the biscuits. Yeah, yeah, there's a world biscuit mountain in there somewhere. Uh, anyway, let's have a look at the place, shall we? <laughs> oh no, she was dancing and then she, that man's filming me. <laughs> If he doesn't touch it, he won't learn. If <laughs> <laughs> anyone is concerned that we have stolen a tarp from the uh, United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees, it has come to us in this condition where it's already been burnt through and there are loads of holes in it, so we're not stealing a tarp all in. From, uh, from refugees somewhere in across the world. Uh, it is doing its best to keep our firewood dry. Yeah, I have
See you, folks. Nice to see Try you. Try it out. Thank Bye-bye. You see you. Yeah, and see I you. shall give your regards Big to hugs. Sharon. Yes, yes. please do. Right, then. You're the spitting image of each other, you know. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, you <laughs> really <Sharon>. are. <laughs> Take care. The eagle eyed of you will recognise this tent, especially that bit. Uh, though, to be fair, I've only actually camped here one night, the first night. I hope it to be a week on, week off thing, but well, we'll see how that turns out. Oh, no, this is a disaster for the camp. The rustic tripod <laughs> is being replaced with, with a, like, a professional tripod. And here we have the toilet tent. Amazing. Ah, oh, that is a work of art. Hey, what's this day, day five? This is day five, day five and ridiculously, camp. no one has actually done a video yet, <laughs> apart from when the BBC came yesterday. <laughs> so what, what is wrong with us? Uh, we've been busy, haven't we? Very busy. I feel busy. like I haven't stopped. So. No. Yeah. So, this is the this centre is, of the camp. Uh, I suppose I should ask some stupid questions, like, why is it here? Uh, you know why it's here. Well, of course we I know why it's here. I think that's old, <laughs> that's old news, isn't it? We all know it's here. Um, what's interesting today is um, HS2 have made that public statement that they are not going to do any work on trees. Um, while Oakley review is in process, uh, in well, they can remove the branches apparently, oh, yeah. which is well, just that's, so that's weird. That's what I was getting to. Yeah. Go on. One, on one level, it says we're not going to do any work on the trees, and then there's there's a statement about doing bat inspections, which may involve removing limbs from trees, and then it doesn't say anything about the translocation of soil, which was why they wanted to cut these trees in the first place so they can dig out all the soil and translocate the ancient woodland which of course um, most of us think is an absurd idea there's no evidence to say it works no and uh, woodland trust have no faith in that concept or that idea at yeah all. um so really yeah we're waiting for a bit more detail in that in that statement i think it needs to talk about the ancient woodland soil and the trees um, as yet we're digesting their statement anyway we haven't made any formal statement back no but at least see this is the thing that we started because hs2 said that they were going to you know have been told not to cut down trees during the review yeah. they then said they would when it was necessary and this time yesterday <laughs> <laughs> we got the email from we got the email from the Woodland Trust that listed the eleven woodlands that they were going to work, work on during the review. This is one of them, and six of the the rest of the eleven were what within four miles of here, the off yeah. Church, Stoneley, and the, the four Kenilworth ones. Yeah. So it's it's as if we were being singled out, to be perfectly honest. But we had that yesterday, and then immediately today. HS2 have said this, at least the chopping down of trees, is, uh, you know, I should be filming myself at this point. You should. No, it's all right. <laughs> no, it's all right. It's a nice view. It's a <laughs> well, it's a nice view. Shame I'm in it. You know, uh, oh, come on. Don't be like and that. Then, and then we had yesterday uh, say that we're saying, right, we're going we're gonna to carry on with the work in 11 ancient woodlands during the review. Yeah. Uh, because of this ridiculous concept that they can translocate soils, yeah, which is just absolutely scientific hokum. All it does is it funds the sort of witch doctor environmental, or so-called environmental organisations that claim that they, you know, environmental solutions from the likes of Five Rivers. We're going to translocate these soils, and yeah, it will be just like an ancient woodland when we stuck it somewhere else. Uh, because, oh well, blue bulbs are bulbs and they still grow anywhere and the moss will be fine. So that means it's all right. But yeah, that was yesterday that we had that. Uh, that they went ahead, gave the Woodland Trust the legal notification, the 10 days notice. And then today, the day after that, they said, all right, we're going to stop here. We're going to stop in all of those 11. 
most of our ones are still the ones that we've only got a, like, a three month delay for the rest of them it's to the end of next year but you've got to say that's because of this that's because you know the MPs had asked you know our MP had asked for the delay didn't get it yeah you know, got got the got the save got to save the pear tree, the the 2015 tree of the year winner over there. Yeah. That's what the MP got, and then straight away we have this, and we have the legal action from Chris Packham, and all of a sudden they say, okay, we are actually not going to chop down trees during the review. Now, the problem is that we've all been lied to by HS2 for nine years, so there is not a cat in else chance we're going to believe them now, and. That's where we are. So, Matt, <laughs> are we packing up the camp? Uh, we're not packing up the camp at this point. Uh, yep, I totally agree with you. HS2 said one thing yesterday uh, about continuing works in ancient woodland. If we had not been here on Monday, Tuesday morning, October the 1st, their assurance to Jeremy Wright, the MP, was they were doing no work till October the 1st. And October the 1st, there was... Uh, a contractor here with 20 guys yeah. and he, he told us he was here to start work on the trees yeah. and I honestly believe if we had not been here the work would have started yeah. the, these, these, these trees around us they a lot of these wouldn't be here yeah, basically really uh, absolutely kind of no we all that. we all believe that yeah. we all believe that and the other thing is obviously yesterday we had the uh, the court enforcement officer yeah who's basically saying go away and we said no and all right it's trespass or expecting that there may be an eviction order at some point yeah. but today was more interesting because they brought the statement didn't they they brought this statement that says we're not going to cut down the woodlands yes, and have. just tell me about that matt how did that go okay i mean the initial reaction you know for everybody is uh hs2 ancient woodland program works during the oak of the review uh can you see that yeah okay. yeah it's fine yeah. we'll Post a link to it uh, it's it also it's online and we'll put a photo of it up i mean what's um what's really interesting about it is yesterday they, they actually specifically name covington yeah. in and south covington wood yeah. in this statement yeah. that relates to all the woodlands up and down the country yeah. which really does suggest that this camp has made a difference yeah oh totally totally and what's really interesting to me is that Yesterday, when that statement came out that we're continuing work in the ancient woodlands, it, the reason they were continuing work is because uh, it's going to increase the costs and cause delay if they don't carry on. Well, yeah. taking the above factors into account, the decision has been taken to defer work at five ancient woodland sites until autumn, winter 2020, as this is possible without a major impact on schedule or cost. And, of well, course, the other six that they've delayed... Uh, so delayed a couple of months as well. So one minute they have to do work because it's going to increase cost and cause delay. And in 24 hours, they don't. it doesn't impact cost or cause delay. So what are we supposed to think? You know, what, what we're supposed to think <laughs> is that no, you can't trust HS2 Limited. They, are, they, they will say what is ever is expedient at the time. And that's what nine years of dealing them, with them has taught us. Yeah. So yeah, so we let you know we really want to take time to let this sink in. We're going to but, but what happened? What did they say when they delivered that letter? <sighs> well, <laughs> uh, I think uh, HS2 were hoping that we would just pack up and go. And um, oh, do, do you want to help yeah. pack in? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, they would. I don't. Uh, it's really important to me that you know I. This is not a confrontational camp. It's. Um, it's a, it's a stand for uh, protection of ancient woodland and our countryside. And that's why this camp is staffed by ordinary working people, teachers, lawyers, doctors. And everyone's local to the sort of Leamington, sort of Kenilworth, Coventry area. Yeah, yeah. Some people come away. There are, yeah. yeah, there are a couple of people from further away. But yeah, Coventry and stuff. But well, I say, Co I, I say Coventry. <coughs> the point, Coventry's the point, local. Right, yeah. the, point I, the point that's really, I'm trying to Sorry. make is that Sorry. You know, we're not a bunch of swampy activists. We're all working people. But there are people who care so much. You just look at those trousers, you can tell that. <laughs> They care a lot about the woodland and the countryside. And the way this project has been sort of 
rammed on top of people, top down. Uh, nobody's been listened to. Nobody listened to the letters about the parish councils. And they about that. No, no, you can talk about yeah. that this time. That's fine. But, uh, this, these people are here because they haven't been heard. Because democracy, they feel like, hasn't really, isn't serving the people. It's serving other powers. Anyway, let's let's digest this information, let it sink in, and um, and we go from there. But for sure, none of us really trust. Uh, just because a statement comes out like this, none of us are going to change our minds overnight. Mm -hmm. and, you know, that's how it should because be. because the bottom line is that they might not be chopping down the trees, but the work is still going on. Well, and also, they haven't mentioned the soil, the translocation of soil. So they, for, from what I can, if all I could read is that. They could come in here and start digging up the soil. We go, well, we, just, we didn't say anything about the soil. It's not, it's not, it's, it's just... And that's it, they, said that, they said that they're not going to do any work that's going to damage ancient or veteran trees. But the other thing, of course, is, and this is beautiful, and we have, we have got another video about this, uh, but basically there, is, there, are, there are two different definitions of what is a tree. And one of them is uh, the legal definition, which is... Uh, we can. This is a court definition. We decide a, a tree is defined by what you would expect a tree to be. And the planning definition is a tree that up to 1.5 meters is 75. Uh, seven, yeah, 75 centimeters. 75 mil. Mil, sorry. 75 mil in diameter. HS2 are using 150 mil. So, which is why they're saying they're only taking down 400 trees in this wood because. That over there, I've got a tree. Yeah, any anything under 100, six anything. inch diameter. So, and basically, so double the size, which is probably like four times the growth. So that behind know. you is not a tree. Yeah, that is not a tree, but it would get felled. Those are not trees. Those there, hazel coppices. The tarp, that's not a tree. In fact, <laughs> I, think, I think that's the one we use. The one by the tarp in the in the. Yeah, this is not behind a tree that video. big tree, that one is technically not a tree, according. So actually, what's being felled in here? A, th a couple of thousand trees. Absolutely. Yeah. But, but HS2 said, when is a tree not a tree? When it's one that HS2 is going to chop down. <laughs> and as you can see, there are hundreds and thousands of them, not just in this woodland, but in woodlands up and down the country. <laughs> and this is the thing, HS2 is a project that is on the wrong side of history. And if anyone is in doubt that the group that have put this camp together are resolute and committed, just look at this. Oh yeah, that was actually the first thing to go up. Before, before the camp or anything, that platform, and uh, I'm not saying that that's the only one, because it might not be, but I think they've spotted this one. Yeah, please come and visit as often as you can. Yes, Bring your friends, share on Facebook, blah yeah. blah blah.